Okay then, so, I'm on the specs. 2560 by 1440, 145, uh, 144 hertz. It's a VA panel, one millisecond response. Right then, so you saw the overall unboxing experience. Now, what I will say is I'm not a fan of the stand. It's good quality made, but 
it does not allow you to rotate the monitor. I would have thought for a monitor for the price, which I've seen monitors cheaper than this that offer it, they shouldn't have put the external ha uh, external power brick. They should have put rotate and a bit more features on the stand. Now, saying that, it is a budget monitor, so some features are going to be lackluster. But that's just one of them things. The I like the specs are okay. They're similar to my personal monitor, but obviously my personal monitor is bigger. So uh, the overall experience using the monitor has been okay. I haven't experienced any ghosting, I haven't experienced any motion blur, nothing like flicker. I haven't experienced any of those faults. But then again, touch wood, so far with AOC monitors, I haven't experienced one bad monitor. So that's a very good thing for the consumer. And I have tested quite a few of their monitors now. So to not experience one bad thing, it's good. Because this is a VA panel and it is generally known for ghosting and other defects but this isn't bad this is a good panel and it seems solidly built now yes the build quality is there from aoc aoc does build uh does make some fantastic looking monitors speaking of the league of legends monitor that was the best rgb illumination on a monitor i've seen since so if they want to outdo themselves i would love to look at it for the monitor for the price point, it's good. Now, yes, I'm not overly fond of the speakers. At full tilt, even at 50%, they sound very tinny. That could be because basic monitor speakers aren't the best. Generally, someone buying a monitor, they're gonna have speakers. So, I've got speakers, but at night time, I generally like to put the monitor speakers on so that I don't disturb people, So, which is a good thing. You don't wanna disturb your neighbors, it's bad. <laughs> So, yeah, but it's a good monitor. It's not a bad price point, but for in the UK, it's the price point is all over the place. It's between 200 and, and 270 pound. It, it's varied from different site to different site. You can get it on Curry's for 200 pound. You can get it on Overclockers for 270. So it's all over the place. But if you can manage to find it for between the 200 and 250 pound mark, it's not bad. So £200 would be about $257. Around there. I'm not going to do the correct conversion, but it's around $250. So it isn't bad. And the 1500R curve on a 27-inch monitor shouldn't happen. I'm sorry, but it's a 27-inch. It's not really going to benefit the curve. Generally, bigger monitors will, generate, will actually take advantage of that curve. But that's just one of them things. The overall menu interface isn't, it is okay, it's exactly the same one as I got on my monitor, so I am used to it. And these are the different features, like I said, it's got a, it has got one millisecond response, 144, it does have V-Sync as well as G-Sync, and it does have a built-in frame counter. Now in terms of other features, no, it doesn't have HDR, it's not a HDR panel. And you can adjust everything here, even though it says HDR mod, it doesn't say it on Windows. Uh, when it comes to other things, you can adjust certain things. It comes with different modes and so forth, like a lot of AOC monitors does come with. Now, when it comes to a yay or an A, look, it gets a yay for me because at the price point, it's a good value. If you can get it below £250 or $250. If you can get it below that, it's a brilliant price. But above $250, AOC does have much better monitors at a little bit more price. Honestly, now I've reviewed a lot of the monitors, and I will say a lot of the monitors over the £300 mark are much better. But they get a thumbs up from Welshie Tech because so far, like I said, I've had zero issues with any AOC monitor I've had. That is down to quality. So, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like. And please comment down below. I like to get the community involved in the videos. If you guys have your input, I will try my hardest to get, in, get it. Get you involved. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Goodbye.